excited. Thank all of you. Last time on episode 167 of AWS and Comedy Radio. And tomorrow is yesterday's good morning by the light of the sun. So if you like that, check out episode 167. <laughs> but now it's time for episode 168. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> A-W-S-M Radio. Damn, that was good. That's right. This is AWSM Comedy Radio. And if you leave us a message at 504-434-AWSM, we are going to play it and we are going to pretend uh, that it was from a previous episode. And we will have one audience member just lose his shit uh, in laughter. Uh, because of recognition. That will happen, I promise It you. will. It will continue to happen. You. That's Logan. Over there's Tom. Hi. I'm Nick. And it's time for a fun fact with that guy, Logan. Fun fact. Nepal is the only country in the world with a non-quadrilateral flag. Boring. It's fun. It's not boring. It's, it's a fun fact. It's a boring fact. It says fact. it right there. Here with us today, not on the purple couch, but at Trader Tons, Yay. it is comedians Martin Morrow and Caitlin Chekarowski. Yeah. You know, Phil, when you sing boring, it makes it sound a lot cooler. Like it's it, not boring anymore. Yeah. yeah. It, well, you, you just got to say boring in a really exciting fashion. Mm -hmm. Boring. And you got to be sweating nope. while you do it because that shows that you're committed to the activity. You're a really busy guy right now, Martin. And it's your birthday coming up really soon. We've got Hooray! another birthday yeah. in the house. Birthday. I saw someone want to do snaps. I like snaps. Snaps are fun. So, uh, last comic standing on August 5th. We should watch you, should we not? Yeah, please, please do. And yeah. Yeah, yeah that'll be that'll be grand. Unless, unless awesome. they unless they embarrass me, then don't watch it. But <laughs> I don't know yet. Uh, you we'll also, all find out together. Yeah. <laughs> you, you also got something else coming up on Comedy Central. Why with Hannibal Buress? Tell me about this. Oh. Burris. Burris. Yeah. No, no, it's Buress. Okay, sorry. I like that <laughs> every, <laughs> everyone corrected you. like, no, no, no. I got it right the first time. <laughs> yeah, I did a, a sketch called Drunk History Intervention for Why with Hannibal Buress. So okay. you can check, uh, check out On Demand <laughs> to find that. That was on uh, episode three. Yeah, yeah, that deserves a round of that's, applause. That's valuable work. That's like that really is important because I've seen a lot of terrible things happen on Drunk History. And yeah. I'm glad somebody like, is like a making way? a difference in this world. Yeah, I get I get to read a letter to uh, my faux girlfriend and ask her to stop stop getting into history when she's drunk. So, <laughs> it's probably a good sound set of advice. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, comedians you should know, which, by the way, if you don't know what that is and you live in Chicago, you should do yourself a favor and check it out. You're a producer at Comedians You Should Know and uh, an understudy of Second City Touring Company. So you really are really, really busy. Yeah. We, my family has a motto. We have to have four sources of income at a time. <laughs> yeah, so, absolutely. Just now, earlier uh, today, we had to delay a little bit because you were being a prostitute. Uh, yeah. Just right during our show. Very kinda, true. Yeah. I, did, I was eating some butts down on Belmont. <laughs> <laughs> Got to get them butts eaten, y'all. Four jobs. Four I almost jobs. fell off this wooden thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So uh, what, what, what show do you have coming up right around the corner? Because uh, I, I know you do comedy throughout the city at multiple venues. Uh, yeah, it, and I saw your lineup, but I don't remember everything that's going on. So just for the people in the audience, what's going on tomorrow night with Martin Morrow? Tomorrow night, I'm going to be doing a comedy cruise ship, uh, 350 Ooh. people, but it's already sold out, so Bam! you can't go. You can't go. Right. But uh, <laughs> but I'm a regular at the Laugh Factory. I'm there Saturday, so I'm going to be doing my birthday uh, Laugh Factory style, and then I'm going to be in Milwaukee soon and Cleveland for Wrestling Geek Fest, so that should be fun. Do you wrestle geeks? Uh, I wish. I hope. I've been wanting to beat up some nerds. Yeah. So. Nerds! Nerds! So, uh, I, I asked you to bring someone out with you to complete the set, and you brought you brought the lovely Caitlin. Caitlin, how did you well, meet I, this wacky, goofy fellow? I don't, I don't know him. <laughs> <laughs> well said. It's tough. It, it, uh, <laughs> no, we were at the Laugh Factory. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. It was great. Grand. It was fun. Are you looking forward to playing an unknown new game? Always. Yay! Let's do that. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a zombie baby? <laughs> Say it ain't soap. 
Can someone help that old lady who <laughs> fell down the stairs? That was Logan's voice. Oh. Yeah. It's, can you believe it? I, I, st- I thought you sounded like an old woman for a while now, Logan. Don't be scared, everyone. No one really died. <laughs> um, Tell us how to play this game. No one died in soap operas either, uh, because usually they come back, and that's what the point of this game is. It's called Say It Ain't Soap. Um, you will both be guessing on every person I list. It's a character from a soap opera. I'll give you a brief description. And then each of you will guess how many times that character has died. This is a brand new game, so let's kick it off. Uh, The first person, uh, Paul Ryan from As the World Turns. Uh, He was the chief financial officer of Bro, or B-R-O. He kidnapped his daughter twice. He was suspected in his father's murder, found guilty, and later found his father was not actually dead. So... Uh, whoever wants to go, how many times do you think Paul Ryan has died? A guy with two first names. Um, <laughs> yeah. Okay. People want to want to kill him a lot. Uh, do I get an over under? No. No, you just have to go for it. You both okay, have seven. to go for it. Seven times. Seven. seven. Yeah. It's Price is Right rules. Uh, Price is Right rules. Can we say what what season did he debut in? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know who his father operas. died. <laughs> the show is called so As the World Turns. That's a soap opera. I know that much. Okay, uh, <laughs> I'm going to say two. Wow, that was more reasonable. Well, Martin, you get the point. It was three deaths. Three oh, times he's died. That was more reasonable. Three deaths. <laughs> yeah. yep. Seven is way too many. All right, we got two more. Uh, the next one is Sheila Carter from The Young and the Restless and The Bold and the Beautiful. Uh, the actress who played Sheila Carter said of the character... You know, I came to L.A. to start a new life, and, well, they just didn't make it that easy for me, did they? So I might have shot a gun once or twice, but it wasn't my fault. You know what? People get what they deserve. They really do. How many times do you think (laughs) Sheila Carter, the character, has died? Well, you told me so much about the actress, but not the character. Well, she could have been talking about her character. that was the character. Oh, boy. She was talking about the character. That was a sweet soliloquy. You know, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll, I'll jump this gun. Do it. If you we, if we you can, you know, get some puns in there. Uh, I'm gonna say four. Okay, okay, I'm gonna go under. I'm gonna go three. Two deaths. No, you're both wrong. Yeah. Two deaths oh. only. We came too hard. Two That's deaths. what you say when yeah. you. Oh, these all seem like reasonable numbers. Would you hurt numbers, someone by like having an orgasm? Like, sure. Yeah. Die. How many times do you die? At least seven. That's why. That's like my baseline. Well, if you maybe if you were a soap opera expert, right, maybe I, it's understandable. We, we I used to watch soap game operas with my grandmother. I think most of them have been around this number, that. so <laughs> just keep that in mind as we go to the last one. All right, wait, do we have any Golden Girls characters on this? Because that I get ace. That's not a soap opera. <laughs> it doesn't count. We view soap operas in different Situation ways. Situation comedy. Uh, David Stenbeck from As the World Turns. Uh, he was the son of James Stenbeck. He once killed a psychiatrist then got plastic surgery to look like that psychiatrist so he could commit fraud. This is absurd. <laughs> I've done that. That was, a, that was a wild Saturday. This is David Stenbeck from As the World Turns. How many times? Take a guess. Stab in the dark. Okay, I'm, I'm going to say one time because these all Damn seem to be like really reasonable numbers. Oh, what'd you say? I said one. One. Uh, mm, interesting. So does it... Are we counting the man whose face he essentially stole as well? No, it's no, how no, many no, no, times no, no. David has died. The character so, himself. We so, know at least that his a psychiatrist died. But he that killed doesn't a psychiatrist, mean, stole yeah. his face and identity. Right. So once he became that man, are we also counting? No, no. Of no. Interesting concepts about identity here. Oh. <laughs> can we can we get a number? Let's go down that number? wormhole. Let's do it. <laughs> right. Uh, right. Baby boy is gonna go ahead and hit the number four with this one. Wow. Baby boy, you got it absolutely right. Four deaths. What? That is how you play. Yeah. 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 So, Martin is the winner. How many times did he die? Four. Oh, oh, okay. Four deaths. <laughs> I'm never listening to this show. <laughs> I'm never paying any attention. Soap. I'm also Very never good. paying attention what to do around Chicago, right, Tom? Well, then you're missing I don't know what to things. do. That's right. Then fun, why don't we take things. a look at the community calendar? With Tom Lillard. I'm going to tell you in just a second. All right. Thursday, August 13th through August 23rd is the Illinois State Fair. Woo! Uh, 
August 20th through August 23rd is the Wizard World Chicago Comic Con. That's yeah. cool. Dress up, get all nerdy, meet some nerdy people. Dang. And then August 29th and 30th is Chicago Fashion Fest. Ooh, at Wicker nice. Park in West Ham. There's also other things yeah, going on. Yeah, we also wanted to add, we got a couple of submissions for the audience as well. Uh, what's the bird thing? <laughs> Bird stuff going on? Stupid fucking bird. Stupid fucking bird. Yeah. At Victory Gardens, that's uh, every week in August. Yes. So right? August 30th. August 30th. Also, uh, I'm doing an experimental environmental show that opens August 15th at Show Party. Check out showparty.org. Um, and uh, Beast Women Cabaret is a thing with uh, all ladies involved. Really, all beast women. I shouldn't say ladies. When you say beast, they're beast women. Is this like Island of Doctor? You have to go to find out. That's every Saturday in August. Every Saturday in August, August. beast women. So check that out. Be there. And lastly, if you're looking for something awesome to do in Chicago involving karaoke, Trader Todd's greatest venue in Chicago for karaoke. Great chicken tenders. Great servers. Half off Mondays! Half Great off Mondays! You thanks again to listen. our lovely guests, Teddy Chikorowski and Martin Morrow. So much, so much, so much! And thanks again to Trader Todd. You've been listening to AWSM Comedy Radio. Yeah. 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 For free! Alright, thank you all so much. We're about to hear a song.